Okay, so the first day of leagues is coming up quick. And when you log in, you're gonna have to pick from one of these three relics as part of the tier one choice. So let's talk about each of these and some of their strengths and weaknesses. So that can be hopefully an easy decision for you when you get there. First one on the list is gonna be Endless Harvest. Now, out of the three, this one is probably the most lackluster. There's not, there's not a lot of effects to it, right? You're gonna get double resources from mining, wood cutting, and fishing. Uh, and then also all of those resources are gonna go to the bank straight away. So really this is gonna be good for anybody who needs to AFK. And I put up some examples here just so you can get some ideas about, depending on which regions you're going to, some of the options that are available to you. Things like the Karambwan, everybody's gonna have access to. Fishing spot doesn't move, this is gonna be great for that. If you wanna to look towards things like Incarend, you're gonna get things like the Anglerfish, you're gonna get Redwoods, all of that stuff is gonna be made even more AFK than it already is. Uh, mining, there's not a lot of AFK options. Uh, I mean, it will be nice for double Amethyst if you're gonna to go to Asgarnia. Uh, you will kind of have some AFK with things like the Volcanic Ash, uh, and you will have AFK with things like Pure Essence, though you're probably not really going to need to mine that uh, unless you just want to AFK mine. So that's about it to Endless Harvest. I really hope that they add something more uh, or maybe there'll be some other relics that kind of tie into this one and make it better. <laughs> but for now, you know, that's all there is to it. Next up is going to be the Trickster Relic. And I mean, there's a ton of effects to this. High level, auto pickpocketing, double the loot, uh, triple the coin pouch limit. So it's gonna make thieving through pickpocketing super AFK. Plus you can't fail any of the thieving actions along with the other skills that are impacted by this relic. So that's gonna just really add on to that AFK element for thieving. You're also gonna be given the Sage's Greaves, which is basically gonna give you passive agility XP whenever you're running around. So if you absolutely hate running laps, I absolutely hate running laps. This is gonna be great. Uh, and particularly if you don't care about the tasks, there are probably gonna be a lot of tasks for running laps around different courses. So just be aware of that. You're probably already gonna be getting a lot of agility XP if you plan to do those tasks and you're going for say like Dragon Cup. Also box traps are gonna be impacted by this. So faster lures, double the loot, uh, Impling Jars can't break, so Puro Puro is going to be just a little bit less annoying. You can also burn nine logs at the same time, because I guess, you know, <laughs> why not, right? And again, so what that's going to look like with this relic, uh, you're going to have things like, obviously, Chinchampas are going to be a big deal. You're going to be swimming in them. It's going to be raining Chinchampas upon you, like double the chins, uh, faster lure speed, Everybody, regardless of your region, is going to have access to Great Chin, so this can benefit anyone. But if you're picking things like Kandarin or Tyronwyn, you'll get Red Chins. Uh, and if you go into the Wilderness, you're going to get Black Chins. So it'll be even better for you. Also, with the fire-making side of things, uh, chucking nine logs into a fire, I mean, they just added, like, what do they call them? Bonfires or something, right? So you can throw logs into a bonfire, and, and that'll be fast XP, but also if you end up going to Karen, it's going to impact Winter Todd, so you'll be able to throw nine logs in at a time for Winter Todd, and that's going to be absolutely insane XP, because not only are you doing nine logs, but you've also got the XP multiplier from just being in leagues, so you're going to be doing like nine times, 12 times, <laughs> what is that? 98 times XP, it's going to be so fast. And then of course, I mean, I think I've got a picture of the Silverhawk boots up here from RS3. The Sage's Greaves are basically doing the same thing again, that passive agility XP. Uh, but I think probably the biggest thing with the Trickster Relic really is thieving. And I put a couple of the high level NPCs up here just so you can kind of visualize what are some of the things that you can pickpocket. Now, really pickpocketing anything is gonna be good. You could probably just pickpocket men in Lumbridge and you're gonna have a great time. But if you end up going somewhere like Mauritania, you can get blood shards super easily because it's going to be AFK. You're going to benefit from the increased drop rate. So they're going to be more common. You're going to get twice as many of them when you're pickpocketing. And man, I mean, you stack that with something like Asgarnia and you get the rogues outfit. You're going to be getting four blood shards at once and it's all going to be AFK. I mean, you're just going to be sitting there picking the dude's pocket for however long it takes. So if you're going to go into one of those regions that have these 
high level NPCs that you're going to pickpocket, you're going to benefit more from this. Also, things like Ardoin Knights and Blackjacking in the Desert, they're all going to be super great just raw cash. I've heard something like 1.5 mil an hour in cash from Ardoin Knights. So it's going to be um, like you're just going to be able to get a ton of cash. Also, I wanted to put the Isle of Souls chest up here as well, because while it's not related to pickpocketing, you can't fail any thieving actions. So you can just open that chest infinitely, and that chest has a lot of different loot on there. So it's going to be really good. You're not going to have to worry about getting kicked out of the tower and having to run back down. And one of the loots is also the Dark Key, which opens up another chest on the Isle of Souls, which gives even better stuff. So that's just going to kind of be a nice bonus on top. Now, the last of the three relics is the Production Prodigy. This is going to allow you to process, I mean, basically everything in your inventory all at once. So things like smelting ores or bars, uh, fletching bows, cleaning herbs, making unfinished potions, cooking food, crafting i mean the list is long on crafting you can craft basically anything gems dragon hide um, you know sky's the limit with that and on top of that you're going to have a 25 percent chance to get an additional item whenever you go through and you're producing something so if you're making like 100 ruined plate bodies you're going to end up with 125 of them and you get xp for those so it's just another increase to the xp that you're already getting now, on top of this effect, which is pretty sweet as it is, you're also getting a plus 12 boost to all of these different production skills. So if you want to see what that looks like, you're going to be able to fletch your Ruinite limbs into a Ruin crossbow at 57 fletching. Uh, you can make a glory at 68 crafting, a bruise at 69 herb lore, super combat potions at 78 herb lore. So you're going to be accessing a lot of stuff a lot earlier. And as someone who's played an Iron Man for a long time, that can be super beneficial because I get leagues definitely is going to have a lot of XP flowing. So you may not feel like you need that boost, but getting the supplies to get the levels is still going to feel pretty difficult early on. Now, once you get into the late game and you're PVMing, you're going to have a ton of supplies flowing because things like raids are going to give you gem drops and all kinds of garbage. Uh, you'll have things like Vorkath that'll give you dragon hide. So, in the late game, you won't really need the boost, but in the early and mid game, it's really gonna help you get to some of these different pieces of equipment, this different gear, uh, different supplies, just a little bit earlier and kind of give you that edge. Plus that's gonna mean you can do more tasks earlier, which is gonna snowball you into opening up more areas, getting more relics, you know, getting into those farther tiers with more powers, uh, more XP because the multiplier scales based off of the relics that you have. So it's actually going to be like that plus 12 boost is going to be way, way bigger than it might feel like when you just look at it face value. Now, obviously, with all of this stuff, you know, it's going to be great for training. It's going to be great for money because you're going to be getting all of these extra items. So as you get into those higher levels and can start making things out of like dragon hide out of the different metal bars like mithril, adamant, runite, you're going to be getting a ton of items that you can just Alk and get cash that way. So, I mean, there's a there's a ton going on for this one. Uh, and if you want to know my pick, it's probably obvious just listening to me talk about this. It's going to be Production Prodigy. I think there is just, it, there's too much here for this one relic to not pick it unless they change something or unless they add some sort of interaction with other relics because the plus 12 boost is going to really just help snowball you further into the game and get a lot of that power a lot earlier. Now, don't get me wrong, Trickster, I think, is a good shout as well. The Thieving Perks and the Sage's Greaves, both of those things, amazing. It's going to be fantastic. You can go AFK Thieves somewhere while you're just running around, opening up the map, collecting things, doing quests. You're going to be getting agility levels. I think both of those things are really good. The hunting aspect, I mean, it's still going to be good. Chinchampas are good, especially if you're going to be going for a range build. I just don't think that Trickster is doing quite as much as you're going to get from Production Prodigy. And for the other one, the Endless Harvest Relic, unless you're desperate for that AFK, I just don't think it's going to be that strong. I mean, like I said, once you get into the late game, you're going to be getting an absolute ton of these resources from bosses. And 
you're not going to need to gather them. <laughs> you're just going to have stacks on stacks of this stuff because you're going to be so powerful and you're going to be blowing through all of these end game bosses. Like you're going to wish you had production prodigy. I'm telling you, if you want to work through that stack of stuff, you're going to wish you had production prodigy. Plus in the last couple of leagues, they've done some really high XP requirement tasks. So production prodigy is going to really help you get into things like if they do 50 mil in a skill, you're going to be able to hit those tasks a lot easier. You're going to be able to take advantage of all of those PVM drops. Now, if you're not someone who's going to PVM, all you're going to do is just skill. I mean, I would still take Production Prodigy, but again, if you're desperate for that AFK, Endless Harvest can be pretty good. Uh, you can get some AFK with the Thieving from Trickster. I'd probably lean towards that personally if I was going to pick between those two. Uh, but again, this one, I think it just takes the cake. Unless they change something day one, this is the relic for you. I promise it's going to be great. But what do you guys think? Which of these relics are you gonna choose on day one? And why are you gonna choose it? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this helpful and you're interested in following my league's journey, I'm gonna be doing daily leagues videos once it drops for the first week, then make sure to subscribe. And with that, I'll catch you in the next video.